What's up guys and I'm playing a new game today called PC Building Simulator. Uh, this is my first time running through this and I just wanted to share it with you. We've got the PC Building Simulator 1 workshop open. It looks like you can go to Razer, Republic Gamers, Overclock UK, but we got to start here. So let's see what this game entails. All right, Accept our little office here. Welcome to PC Building Simulator. To begin, go to your PC by the doorway and open the email program on the desktop. You've got mail. Okay, let's take a look around first. We've got an extra little workstation over here. Looks like we can put a computer there. All right, there's our computer. It looks like we already have a customer. And that's pretty much it. Well, here's our supplies. Let's see, do we have anything to start with? Thermal paste, USB drive, compressed air. Um, looks like they have cables, and they don't have a number by them, so maybe they're unlimited. And that looks like that's it. All right, and third level, you can build a second workbench. You must be eighth level to build a third. All right, well, let's get started on this. Let's see what the email has to say. We just click the monitor. That's pretty cool. All right, so what do we got here? Thanks for taking over the PC shop for me. Sorry, it's not in the better state. A few things. The company isn't doing very well, and there is no money in the bank account. The rent and energy bill come out monthly, so make sure you have enough money for them. I had a job on the go, which should help with the rent. See the email below. Remember to use thermal paste when putting in a CPU. I almost always forget, and the PC's over. Well, way to go. Way to go. <laughs> so I think you're all set up. It's your company now, so run it how you see fit. I hope you do better than I did. Lots of love, Uncle Tim. Aw, our uncle left us a game. Our uh, PC shop. Why, why did I say? I don't know. P.S. I had to borrow $15 for fuel. You know how it is. <laughs> All right, well, let's just go ahead and discard that. We don't need that anymore. All right, so here we go. Here's another one. Hello, I was building a PC earlier, and I forgot which power supply to buy to support a 380 I just added. Is something someone who is not using my new Cloud Notes app might say. Have you been forgetting things? Needing somewhere to note what you're working on? You could try... Cloud Notes. It's a great app where you can write notes, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we don't care. We really don't care. All right, so it looks like we have our first customer here, and that's the that's the uh, PC that we've seen sitting right over there. It says, hi, Tim. I hope you can help me. My computer has been running slow, slower than usual, and I think I might have clicked on something I shouldn't have. Do I have a virus? Gary, you know what you clicked on. You know what you did. So let's just go to the PC. All right, oh, that teleported us right here. We can just click it or right click it. There we go, we right click. Oh, look at all those slots. Okay, let's go ahead and we just pop it down here. And oh, look at that. When you highlight the computer, a little note comes up. PC can boot into OS, remove viruses. That is the objective, okay. So we click on it, plug the PC in. For this job, you'll need to run a virus scan. Press 3 or the cable button and plug the monitor, keyboard, mouse, and power into the back of the PC. Okay, fair enough. Cable. Oh, look at these. These guys are a little highlighted here. Look. Um, oh, I see. That's highlighting. Okay. We'll just do that for all of these. There we go. Insert USB drive. Now you need to put your USB drive into the back of the PC so you know, so you can install the virus scanner. Press 1 or, to or the install button to go to your inventory and select the USB drive. It plugs into the USB. Okay, that must be the one we've seen on our shelf. So install. Oh, and look, at there's our shelf. And look, at it highlights again over here. Um, but I can't click it. Oh, rotate your camera. Aha, there we go. 
Now press P or the power button to turn on the PC. Click on the monitor to use the operating system OS. Okay, power. Ooh, look at it. It's spinning up. Ooh, look at the operating system came on. Installed fire scanner. Welcome to Omega OS, the operating system of choice. Click the add remove program to install the virus scanner and don't forget to restart the PC after the installation. Okay, add remove program. We've got email, shop, 3D benchmark, I'm guessing that is. Music player, lighting, virus scanner, select wallpaper and cloud notes. All right, so virus scanner. Seems simple enough. All right, you must restart the computer for changes to take effect. Restart now. Yes, of course we are. Ooh, look at that. That meant negative $15 from our great, great uncle. He is such a great guy. All right, the computer started back up. We'll do a virus scan now. Holy hell. Four ninety nine. 499 viruses or infected files at least you must remove all viruses from the pc and the pc is ready to return to the client pick the pc up with right mouse button and place it in the delivery area okay so can we just pick it up a right click now that takes us back into it left or the sorry right click now there we go it was left click i don't even know my buttons well, let's put it down by the door Great, now that you need to collect your pay, go to your email and hit collect. We collect our pay in email? Oh, look at that. Labor, $100. We have 85 now, thanks to our uncle. All right, that was easy enough. You completed the first job, well done. Come back tomorrow and see if there are some new, more, blah. See if there are more jobs to do. Okay, let's do the right thing here and shut down our computer while we're not using it I'm just gonna take a quick look around everything looks good um wonder if we have to water that plant It'd be interesting to see all right turn off the lights and leave end the day here you can end your day and advance to tomorrow right now you have no active jobs but normally it's worth checking your orders any part you've ordered any parts that need to be here blah, 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 blah. Okay, whatever, we don't care. End the day. All right, day two. Let's go to work. All right, looks like we didn't receive anything. Let's come in here, turn our computer back on. Looks like we got a new email up here. It's highlighted with a little red. Let's go to the bottom first. We discard this one. We just did that one. Uh, hi there. I just wanted to say thank you for fixing my PC. It boots faster than it has in years. I didn't realize your uncle had gone away. Looks like the business is in good hands, though. Thanks again, Gary. Well, you're welcome, Gary. You're welcome. If you're, if you're watching right now, you're welcome. All right. Next one. Hello. Could you... Have a look at my PC, please. It isn't running as well as it did when I first bought it, and I've probably not been taking the best care of it. It looks a bit dirty. Could you give it a once-over, please? If you can, if I'll bring it around today, tonight. If you can, I'll bring it around tonight, ready for you in the morning. Thanks, P. Sherman. Looks like we're going to remove viruses and clean dust out for our objectives. We can do that. Customer species will take a day to arrive, so end the current day by going to the workshop door. Fair enough. Next one. Hello, I need some more space to back up my files. Could you install a 500 gig hard drive, please? I'll bring it around first thing. Thank you. Gemma. Install more Tony, Easy Store, 500 gig or better. Okay. Got a budget of $50 for it. 500 gigs. All right, let's accept that. Go to the shop on your PC to buy components you need, and you can have them delivered at the same time as your client's PC. Fair enough, okay. And then what was the last one? 
My graphics card has fried itself, and I need to replace it with the same one, please. And NVIDIA GTX 970, maybe one of those sheen ones. I can drop it around first thing tomorrow morning. Budget of six, 265. Replace graphics card. Install Sheen GeForce GTX 970 Gamer or better. Okay, well, we don't have 265. Um, I don't know how that's going to work. But let's go ahead and accept that. And it said go to the shop for the power or the, the storage. Um, the easy store 500 right here. And that had a $50 budget. There it is. Ooh, it's going to cost us 80 though. Use the delivery option to choose when best to receive your component. Often it's better to pay for faster delivery than wait days to receive things. Okay, let's look. Next day is $30 on me. He has a budget, but, I, but I'm getting paid for my labor, so I can afford it. Let's do next day. Let's just be nice to this customer. All right, we got $5 left. And let's go ahead and let's just double check our emails. Um, this person said they didn't say anything about needing it back like instantaneously. What does this one say? Um, maybe one of those seen ones. Okay, they didn't say anything about getting it instant. So let's just see what we do. So it looks like we're, we're we ordered. We're done for the day. Um, let's just get out of here. Okay, everything looks good. Let's go. End the day. That was an easy day. Whew. All right, end day. Oh, the customer's PC is here. Pick it up with right mouse button. Well, we already figured that out. And take it to the workbench to fix it. Go to work. My new parts have arrived. Click on the boxes to put them in your inventory. Okay, well, first thing on is lights. Ooh, look at that. I got three of them sitting here. There's the new hard drive. And let's see. Oh, look, we get a little tool tip on this, too. You can tell this one just needs to be cleaned out. Viruses need to be removed. Let's do that. Press the install button to get a compressed air from your tools. And then click on the PC components below to blow away the dust until it has all been removed. Okay. Well. Oh, it's doing that thing again. Okay. Oh, God. We got to unscrew. <laughs> oh, this could get tedious after a while. Think about move, removing the motherboard. All right. So it said install compressed air. We'll just hold it down maybe. And... Oh, it is changing colors on the bottom there. Ooh. Oh, look at that. All right. We got that. So let's go back to cables. the little things you don't really want to plug all these in every single time but you gotta let's go ahead and put the panel back on oh and we need that usb thing again Megas stoves. Right. Virus scanner. This doesn't take a long time to load up. Scan for 
viruses. Ooh, oh. Okay, they're just getting worse. <laughs> you need to stop looking up porn. I'm telling you, that's what's hurting you. Porn. All right, your PC monitor. Blah, blah, blah. Shut it down. I'm just going to leave the virus scan on because he's going to do it again. So we're just going to leave that there. Let's go ahead and stand up. See if this is ready. Place it in the delivery here. So we just right click again. One PC down. All right. Let's see. This one needed. Uh, Hard drive. Oh, we forgot to turn ours on. Let's get that booted up. Just want to see if there's any extra they want us to do. Let's remove this case so we can get to the hard drive. Alright. Hard drive must be underneath this. Remove case part. Oh, that's the. PSU shroud. Well, let's go ahead. It might be under there. Yep, there it is. Can we... Um, what did we do? Well, we clicked on this. Well, let's go ahead and take it off anyway. Alright. Um, okay, maybe that's where we need to install it. storage. There's the hard drive. Um, oh, you gotta hold it. Okay, you have to hold the left click down when you're installing something and then click it again. Okay, it can't really see it from that side. Can we go around? Oh, there we go. Okay, it doesn't have the cords. We install the... Oh, yeah, that's right. We have, like, cables galore. go and there we go okay now it needs to be able to boot up so while we're here we might as well all right power on there it says incomplete case down here it'll let you know i guess if you haven't put stuff back on. We need, um, which one? Which one? This one? Yeah, there we go. Get those screws back in. Alright, let's install the front one. Is it dusty in there? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, great. Oh, look at the shroud. I almost forgot it. <laughs> that is good that it shows you that. That's mine, so let's put this back on. Alright, looks like we just need to place this over here. Now this is the one that needed a graphics card, but I didn't have enough money for it. I don't know if we're still going to, but... Let's take a look at our email here. Collect money. Alright. Discard that. Put in the hard drive. We'll collect money for that. We got 435. Okay. Now she needed the Sheen G4's GTX. She had a 265 budget. I've got 432 now. Uh, she needs a 970 GTX 970 G4. So let's go to the shop. Was it again? I already forgot. Sheen GeForce GTX 970. I wonder if we can just type in Sheen. Ooh, look at that. This is the one we need right here. So let's let's keep that in cart because I did see another email. Oh, it just says. We've just added the following parts to our range. Uh, Zotec GeForce GTX 1050 Ti Overclock Edition. Interesting. Oh, oh, nope. 
back to the computer. We need to go to shop. We need to order that part. Pay the extra $30 again and look at we're still in the positive. That's good. And I think that's it for the day. We got this one to fix. We'll just leave it right up there. And um, I think we're, we're good. Alright, we're going to end the day. And I'm going to end this video right here as we end this day. We'll start up tomorrow. And uh, we'll see what's in store. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later.